on the right path, but moving forward, I still worked that other job. So I, I was distracted by my purpose unbeknowing to me. So moving forward, 2013, I decided to just walk away from um, working where someone else told me what time to be there um, and put a cap on how much money it is I make. Um, they could lower my wage by cutting the time that I could be there. Um, and that can be extremely frustrating um, when you have a plan. Um, and, Absolutely. And so um, what I did not realize, though, at the time is that I was working and, and building that state where I, where I was in my location for seven years. But what struck me was when I uh, found a young lady online because um, I was new to the social media and she told me that I didn't have a brand. And I was like, um, I don't have a brand. And then I thought about it, well, do you? You don't even know what that <laughs> is. And so I went right. and looked it up, what a brand was. And so I was like, I don't even know how to get that. But I'm going to put that down as a thing to, to go find out. And I, I need to know what that is. And so right. um, someone told me about uh, Periscope. So I'm on Periscope and I mean, you can get on there and you can get lost because there's so many yeah. people <laughs> giving you so much valuable information. Um, and so I found myself with three or four notebooks with all kinds of things that I'm writing down, um, but it didn't have any kind of order to it. It didn't have any order. And so, you know, I'm, I'm looking and I'm searching because I'm also noticing that um, I have something here. Um, and one of my uh, colleagues had told me, Sojourner, if you figure out how to put all of this in order, man, girl, you a million dollar stylist, you got million dollar ideas, but you're all over the place. true I'm all over the place so then I had to ask myself why you know what's my why why am I all over the place um and I heard Miss Tan Miss Tanya say um your mind has a lot to do with your business and every time she would come on I would see mind your business you know and so I began to think about where was my mindset? You know, where was my mind? How am I thinking? Well, my thinking when I would quiet myself was all over the place. Telling about my uh, my journey in working with you um, and moving, you know, and moving forward. Um, I had covered about uh, some of the principles that I had learned in uh, the 3D success. Um, because it really uh, helped realign me as a stylist in the industry behind the chair, but then also how to strategize moving forward with um, not always looking mm -hmm. at myself as a person behind the chair, but also looking at myself as a business owner. Um, and as a business owner where the community component comes into play. So Jana, what city and state do you rock out in currently now? In Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Well guys, we have people from all over, you know, in our group. And seeing as though you've coached with me for almost a year now, I'm sure some things um they aren't repetitive, but they are just another level of other things that I've taught. Were there anything in particular about that that you can remember because I know you've got a lot of information with me that really stood out for you um for me I would definitely have to say uh discipline um discipline for me was was extremely uh out of order for me personally um I was no longer being accountable um you know I Un, unbeknowing to myself, comfortable. I think yeah. um, someone in our group uh, in one of our sessions had talked about uh, comfortability and you had spoke um, and, and actually um, challenged us to dig a little bit 
uh, deeper on accountability. And I think that's where, uh, um, in which I find myself now telling my clients, putting dates on things, because that's your personal accountability. When you, uh, you know, it, it's it's really reflective and tapping back into your senses um, is extremely uh, necessary when you're when you're trying to get that growth um, of what you're looking for. You have to tap into your your senses, and you did that for me so many times in so many different ways oh, wow. throughout the course of, of of us working together because wow. I began to be reflective um, after that um, abundance, thinking in abundance. Well, you can't think in abundance if you already got a lot of clutter because you got to move things around so that you can make room for things to come in. Well, it's because your mind has a lot to do with your money. With your money. Okay. It, it does, vary. absolutely. Right, and so uh, abundance has a lot to do with uh, finance. Um, and uh, looking at your numbers, um, th there, I mean, just so many, I mean, so many things that I can um, pull um, out um, of, of my uh, journey bag for what, all of the courses that I've um, had the opportunity to take or the replays that I've had the opportunity to go back um, and revisit uh, um, because maybe when I was watching it, I might have, um, you know, had you playing in my ear, but you know, that's some good stuff. I got to remember to go back to that. Um, there is just so much that you can apply the principles to your everyday life um, as well as your business. It's, it's just amazing when you apply the uh, principles um, to your business, um, you're gonna see, re you're gonna see results. You can't help but to see uh, results.